Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial guys, we are still going through the grade 12 mathematics literacy paper one that was written in June 2022, right? And in this video tutorial guys, we are going to be tackling question 1.2 and question 1.2 is basically probability and we're going to be working with this tree diagram that is given to us to answer the questions right before you get started with the video tutorial guys please make sure that you have a look in my description box because i'll put a link to the past paper there please make sure that you try this question on your own and also make sure that once you've done that you play the video tutorial and you follow with me also before we get started with the video tutorial guys please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel right Please make sure that you've clicked on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video tutorial, guys. And also don't forget, please don't forget to give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because that really helps the channel grow, guys. And it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks. And also, guys, please also leave a comment um, down below. Tell me how you found the video tutorial. And if you also want to give... Um, me a special thanks um and you really appreciated this video tutorial please click on that thanks button there and look at the different options that they have um and you can just thank me like that there okay so let's just do that guys to help me um stay motivated as well um to also keep the video tutorials coming right so please um do that for me if you really appreciate the content that i'm doing for you guys right so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial <music> So like I mentioned, we're going to be dealing with obviously question 1.2 in this video tutorial. And this is a nice short question um, that basically deals with probability. And in particular, we're going to be looking at a tree diagram. Okay, so let's look at the questions or the information that is given to us. Let's fill that up and then let's get started with our question. Okay, so we are still with Yvette. Now. We are told that Yvette, Yvette's lunch pack has the following bread or bread roll options to choose from right so the options that Oyevet has is either you can get yourself white bread or you can say you want brown bread or you can say you want a bread roll okay and then from here we are told that the bread or bread roll can be toasted or not toasted and we told that that the diagram below illustrates the different options, okay? So here, this tree diagram illustrates the different options that we have, okay? So the first options, okay, we've got Yvette basically gives you an option to choose from white bread, the bread roll, and what else? The brown bread, yeah? So we're going to fill that in here. Okay, so those are the three options that you can choose from. You can choose that you can either choose white bread, the bread roll, or the brown bread. Now, yeah? and then from the white bread, we are told that the bread or the bread roll can be toasted or not toasted, right? So the white bread can be toasted or not toasted. The bread roll can be toasted or not toasted. And the brown bread can be toasted and not toasted. Okay, and then we are given the final outcomes there. Is that if you go, you can either get a white bread that is toasted or you can get a white bread that is not toasted. You see, white bread that is toasted or a white bread that is not toasted. So if you follow like that, it's white bread that is toasted. So white bread that is toasted or white bread that is not toasted. White bread not toasted. Yeah? Then we look at this option here. We can get the bread roll that is toasted. Okay, so we can just see here. Let's look at the abbreviations that they use for the bread roll. So they use the R, yeah, that's your bread roll, that is toasted. And then toasted, the abbreviation that they use is T. Okay, so the bread roll that is toasted, you say RT. Going to write that there. Okay, or you can get your bread roll that is not toasted. You see the roll that is not toasted. The N stands for not toasted. You can get the brown bread that is toasted, B, that is toasted, 
or the brown bread that is not toasted b that is not toast um not toasted ne? so this is basically the final the different combinations or the different outcomes that you can choose from okay okay so we've we've filled we've basically filled in all the missing labels you know that were not given to us so now let's have a look at the questions and see what is happening use the above information to answer the questions that follow yeah? question 1.2.1 name the type of diagram illustrated above so this one is nice and easy okay so i already said that the diagram that is illustrated here is what it is a tree diagram so we're going to write that down next question question 1.2.2 Complete the missing labels A and B, right? So we say that, okay, with the missing labels, we see that there were three options of brown bread. Ne? It was either, I mean, the three options of the breads that you can get. You can either get the white bread or you can get the bread roll or you can get the brown bread. Those are the three options. So the brown bread was the missing option there. So 1.2.2A 1, 1. is the brown bread Okay, and 1.2.2B, that's your final outcomes. The different outcomes that you can basically choose from. So there you get white bread that is toasted or white bread that is not toasted. Bread roll that is toasted, that, that is what we wrote there. The B is the bread roll that is toasted. So it's RT because the R stands for the bread roll and the T stands for toasted, right? So therefore, 1.2.2b is question 1.2.3. Write down the total number of outcomes, right? What are the total number of outcomes that are here? What are the total number of possible outcomes right you literally count you've got one two three four five six okay six possible outcomes okay so that is our answer there okay and the last question calculate the number of toasted bread outcomes toasted bread outcomes now so you've got your white bread here and you also have your brown bread. Now, so we're only going to focus on the white bread as well as the brown bread. They didn't say what are the total number of uh, toasted bread outcomes as well as toasted bread roll outcomes. So what are the outcomes there, right? So for your white bread that is toasted there, that's one. Okay. And your brown bread that's toasted. Okay. Right. So what is the number of toasted bread outcomes? The total outcomes for the toasted breads are one, two, because you only have one white bread um, that is toasted outcome and you only have one brown bread that is toasted outcome. We do not include the roll because they specific, um, specifically ask for the toasted bread, ne? not the toasted rolls. Okay, so it's just two uh, toasted bread outcomes. All right, and that is basically the final answer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video tutorial. Please keep it locked to the channel. Please make sure that you have clicked on that notification bell because in the next question, guys, we are going to be tackling question 1.3. And in question 1.3 is basically data handling. And in data handling in this particular question, we're going to be analyzing uh, basically two box and whisker plots um, or looking at two box and whisker plots and using them to help us answer the questions that are given. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys on my next video tutorial. That is it, guys. And I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Bye, guys.